So hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at LatriceLimited.com. So y'all, I'm so sick of this. I'm so freaking sick of these millionaires, billionaires, just thinking they could do whatever. And then everyone's just clapping like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to do it. Yeah. Uh, that's for the birds. I ain't got time for it. Okay. So I ran across the tweets from the tweeter birds that you know I like to look at and this guy Robert Rich said so wait Howard Schultz is worth four billion dollars and can afford a 145 million dollar 254 foot super yacht with the helicopter pad but Starbucks can't afford to give workers a living wage and good benefits. All right. So I was looking at this. I was like, one, you're worth four billion dollars. You got a your your super yacht, you know, which is just a crazy thing. You know, you can't just have a regular yacht. Yeah, you gotta have a super yacht. All right, worth 145 with a helicopter pad for why? And I'm like, well, what does he have to do with Starbucks, okay? I don't keep up with the millionaires and the billionaires or anything like that. I can only really name about four right now, okay? So I'm like, ah, you know, what y'all talking about? What's going on? All right, so I did a little bit of research on here. And, well, here's the guy, okay? This is Howard and it says Howard D. Schultz is an American businessman and author who served as both chairman and CEO of Starbucks from 1986 to 2000, from 2008 to 2017, and interim CEO since 2022. Okay, I see your relation to Starbucks. <laughs> it says Schultz, all, Schultz also owned the Seattle Supersonics basketball team from 2001 to 2006. Okay. So, this is the guy here, okay? This is the guy. So, I'm looking at him and I'm like, okay, what the, what the freak, dude? And it kind of reminded me of an article I read earlier that day, all right? And here's, I'll just give you the headline for it. I read the article, but I'll just give you the headline right now. And it says, Amazon CEO has no plans to order corporate staff back to the office and he says paying 25 an hour to rank and file off uh, workers is too high so he's saying all corporate staff are at home and he says we ain't doing 25 dollars an hour um this is a half truth uh half truth so one not every corporate employee is working from home so that's not true um but the 25 dollars an hour so here's the thing amazon's minimum last time i checked is 15 dollars an hour now they said their average minimum is 18 now this is how they got that because you may be like well if it's is it 15 or is it 18 what's going on so their minimum is 15 dollars an hour okay their average is 18 the reason why it's up three dollars is because you you take them from different locations for example someone in iowa is not getting to pay is not getting paid the same amount as someone that works at the amazon and jfk you know what i mean they're not getting the one that's in new york you're not going to get paid the same because your living standards are not the same you know so that's how they're going about doing this whole thing but this is my thing you got you know you got your little starbucks you know you're doing your little sip 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 you're worth they say on here 3.5 grounded up okay that's what the guy did so you got your super yacht yo your freaking super yacht you got bezos who because the guy that's in charge is uh andy jazzy i believe for amazon because bezos stepped down or whatever um but here's the thing you have your super yacht and you know you're doing your thing or whatever amazon <laughs> bezos he he wanted someone to uh, it was a different country he wants them to remove their historic bridge 
so that his yacht could just go and pass by because that, that that's all that matters at the end of the day you know so you're telling me you have enough money to buy yachts both of you guys are billionaires okay one more than the other but bill y'all both billionaires okay if not more whatever other assets y'all got going on okay you spent millions both of you millions upon millions of dollars on a yacht but then you say and you know Beasley's got his fingers in things you say that you can't pay employees $25 an hour minimum why not why not you guys are are as huge as you are and, and the excuse in the article was well we don't want to mess with profits because then we won't be as profitable and that's the whole point of a business how many more billions do you need looking at you how much do you make and the point is this we have this kind of weird we got this weird thing that's going on now where maybe your employer was making you know three five times as much as you know the lowest person there fine or whatever okay now they're making 300 500 just insane amounts they're the amount of um the amount of profit they're getting is so vast so large yet they turn around and say well we can't pay for that you know but but you got a yacht oh yeah but that's different over here we could we, we could pay for that but we can't pay for that you know you, you but you got to come into the office corporate employees you got to all come into the office but we can't pay for anything else okay you know everything else you know you just got to do and that's messed up you got starbucks workers unionizing you got amazon who they hired it was a few mil that they actually paid for like this um corporate um union not buster but this corporate union guy who's who's supposed to like pretty much break up unions and make sure that they don't happen why why are you so afraid of that you know and then we have starbucks over here who these employees are begging for it they're begging they're like yo can you please yeah we want a union we want a union now we're gonna try to fight tooth and nail to make sure you guys don't get one well we want a living wage we can't live on ten dollars an hour ah oh, man you should have should have thought about that before you picked this job okay well let's all quit oh no no we can't you can't quit because i need to make money what make that make sense you got a whole bunch of corporations where these people don't even get benefits a lot of these companies that people are working for they don't even have benefits and benefits go from medical dental vision you know some kind of 401k of some sort you know what i mean and then y'all like now nah, yeah. hey we'll give you free pizza and a t-shirt no nah, man people cannot pay bills <laughs> on free pizza and a t-shirt y'all they can't they cannot okay and it's like people just these rich people don't want to pay you know and i remember people were just they were like oh man you know elon musk he, he's gonna build up that nice place up in austin and he's gonna get a lot of people getting in, in the job industry or whatnot they're gonna be making money they're gonna be getting these jobs they're gonna be doing this they're gonna be doing that man he's great he's great he's great and everyone was just you know just <sighs> on him right and i'm just like okay i was like is he all that great yeah he's great you know he he's a billionaire who actually cares about the people and da -da -da. why i see a job for 13 dollars an hour well well because some people just gotta so some people just ain't supposed to be living well while you're a multi-billionaire living well there's no way if you're a billionaire no way should you be paying and even if you're like not 25 dollars an hour 20 20 i think if you're in a warehouse amazon warehouse 20 bucks is reasonable i think that's a reasonable amount 25 i think is a little bit too much um only reason why i say that is because i've been in the amazon warehouse before and you don't do much <laughs> i'll tell you that right now you ain't doing much okay not unless you are one of those runners not runners but i guess one of those scanners that have to actually scan the packages in and whatnot unless you're one of them you at least at the location i was at you ain't doing much okay <laughs> okay we ain't doing much over there if you're a runner 
you're standing there, you put a, get a package and then you turn around, put it over there and you repeat the process. Okay. If you're a scanner and induction, which I've done, I actually was really good at it. Uh, but you know, I mean, all you're doing is just getting the thing and then you're just scanning, scan, scan, scan. You, you run out of tape, you refill, scan, scan, scan again, you know, but it's not, you're not doing that much. You know what I mean? I worked at the post office in a warehouse. I was a mail handler. You did way more work. Now that job, $25 an hour, but the Amazon one, and this is where, you know, I would divert Amazon one. I could see 20 an hour. That one, I can see 25 for mail handlers. Okay. Because mail handlers, you are busting your boot. Hey, okay. <laughs> you are working hard over there. So that's how I feel about that. Yeah. Should, I mean, people should be getting paid more than $15 an hour. Really with inflation and everything, lowest paid for everybody should be $20 an hour, period. From the burger flipper to at McDonald's to, you know, someone at Walmart collecting those carts, you should be getting paid $20 an hour. Okay. That goes with waitresses and bartenders as well. Okay. And the extra is just extra, but $20 should really be the minimum. Like I said, different jobs. I've seen people do different things. Okay. Um, at these, uh, fast food places, the amount of work you got doing because you are dealing with customers. Yeah. You should be doing 20 bucks an hour. Yeah, you should. You know, um, so this whole, oh, well, let's just pay him $13 over here or, well, y'all don't really need benefits and living with, oh, that's for the birds. But until then.